our late president to give him the honor he deserves. Your Excellency, Deputy President William Ruto. Thank you very much, uh, Bishop. Your Excellency, Honorable Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, President and Commander-in-Chief of Kenya Defense Forces, Your Excellency Margaret Kenyatta, our First Lady, Your Excellency's Heads of State and Government and representatives of other countries present here. The family of the third president of the Republic of Kenya, led by Judy, Judy Kibaki, Jimmy, David, Anthony, and all the family members both immediate and extended. Colleagues, leaders present here. Your Excellencies, Ambassadors and High Commissioners, Kenyans from all walks of life. Today, we are gathered here to mourn the departure and the demise of a President Mwai Kibaki is a man of great simplicity brought up in Dunguri village in Odaya, the journey through tending to goats, a journey that made him a great scholar and the finest economist our country ever had. A distinguished public servant that rose through the ranks both in the opposition and in government and of course the greatest president Kenya ever had. We celebrate his achievements, his contribution, and his rich and solid legacy. President Kenyatta has been a good student of President Mwai Kibaki. I know that as his deputy. <laughs> President Mwai Kibaki and his history is the history of our country. He was part of the architects of our independence. He was first, he was part of the first government and made a huge contribution. He was vice president to our second president. He laid a firm foundation both in education, in infrastructure development, and he was the architect of our economy. He sowed the seeds and laid the foundation upon which 
our fourth president, President Uhuru Kenyatta, build the expansive and extensive and elaborate infrastructure that we see today in our country. I also can see his shadow and influence in what is going to become of the fifth president of Kenya. Because I see the conversation around the economy which President Mwai Kibaki was its architect influencing the coming election. And therefore, when the history of Kenya is written, Mwai Kibaki will not fit into paragraphs. I don't think he can fit into chapters. We might need a separate book for Mwai Kibaki because of what he has done for our country. And finally, in a quick three years, Your Excellency, we have paid farewell to our second president in 2019 and to our third president now. It is a solemn, it is a heavy moment, but I take pride in the heritage respecting and honoring our leaders in office and protecting and caring our leaders in retirement and in death. And therefore, I am confident that together as a nation, we can stride into the future with a confidence and on the foundation that our forefathers, including Mwai Kibaki, that we rest his soul at this moment. I want to say, for me and my family, may Mwai Kibaki's soul rest in peace. Thank you very much. Thank you. Our Deputy President, Honorable William Ruto, for your tribute. At this juncture, it has been the request of the family. At this moment, in the presence of the remains of this great statesman, to receive a special blessing. And so, kindly, still in this.